in your bed, living room, car, or wherever you're at. This is Jimmy G in the place to be, bringing you back another episode of The Good, The Bad, The Awesome, where we review, unbox, give our first reaction about all things pop culture, mainly Star Wars, Transformers, anime, McFarland figures, sprinkled in with some other stuff, including going to conventions and giveaways. So if this is your first time here, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button so that way you can get notified of all the craziness that this guy is going. I am ready for Christmas. I've got my Clark Griswold button-up shirt on. I am ready for one of my favorite holidays because uh, it's all about giving and I love to give stuff away. But that's not what we're here to talk about today. Today we're going to talk about something from the world of manga and anime and one of my uh, favorites or you know I always say that about manga and anime but out there and that's Chainsaw Man. So we're going to look at a figure that I got to go along with my Denji Chainsaw Man. So let's go take a look. And here we have it folks. It's Samurai Sword aka Katana Man from Chainsaw Man. This is a really cool looking figure and I am so excited to open it up. This is by SH Figure Arts. I have a few of their figures. I even have the Chainsaw Man figure, which we'll compare him to as well. Uh, made by Bandai. And so you can kind of see from the packaging, here's the front. You got the swords that are coming out of his face and his in his arms, the side, the back, all sorts of poses you can do, the side, and then the bottom choking hazard for ages 15 plus. If you don't know who Samurai Sword aka Katana Man is from Chainsaw Man, basically it's a dude whose father was in the was a gangster, a debt collector who Denji killed and um he merges with long story short, he merges with uh a devil and he becomes this uh, and so as you know with anime it's either devils uh, it's either spirits or uh, someone who's depressed over a girl or a combination of all three and so uh, we're gonna get this one out of the box and take a look at all that comes in the pack and get that going right now out of the box Katana Man and is he so cool looking i mean look at that you know first of all the premise of the movie the the show chainsaw man a man with chainsaws literally coming out of his face and his arms and now you have samurai sword or aka katana man who has katanas coming out of his face and his arms this is too cool and I, that's what i love about the creativity of manga i've gotten into some manga and anime lately and it's caught my eye and i love it and i can tell by you guys you guys love it as well um but this is a really cool one there's only one season out right now but the manga is going on right now too as well rumors are that they may cancel it which which would stink because this is a ribbon a really cool one uh so far too as well but what you get in the box you get an extra face right there with the open mouth instead of the closed which is kind of cool and then you get uh two sets of open fisted hands so uh which is really neat because these actually come apart so that way you can put the katanas uh right where they need to go on here um so yeah you can put whatever hands and have that functionality and then of course you get katana man himself so uh when we look at him from a size standpoint we're going to get him compared to the official Jimmy G ramen scale. So that's two, three, four, and I think it's about five, five ramen packages high for Katana Man. So, uh, so yeah, I think he'll scale well with other figure arts figures, and we'll show you how he scales with other characters here in just a little bit. Uh, before, after we go over some articulation, but overall feel, I love the plastic. The, the cape is a soft plastic. Everything else is really nice. It looks like you got some really great joints and stuff in here, uh, that you can have some really cool posability and some really cool detail. So let me bring him in a little closer, pop my camera up a little bit more and bring in some more illumination. So that way we can kind of get a better look at this guy. Uh, so yep, there's that face. That face, that bloody face, look at that. Look at that detail right there, that is so cool. Now, when you get into premium figures, Figure Arts is kind of gonna be one of those more premium figures. You're looking at 50 plus dollars. This guy, I was able to get a good deal at Box Lunch because I had some lunch money. 
and was able to pick him up for on on the cheap using my lunch money and I had some rewards dollars uh, but normally you'll find him anywhere from sixty to eighty dollars uh, on that now figure arts and then there's good smile and then there's figma uh, who has some really cool figures too as well as you all know, Anime Heroes, they're the $19 figures. Those are the ones that, like, if you just want something cool, but on a budget, you can get those. Figure arts are going to be a little bit more of your collectible, more posable figures. But really cool detail on the hat, things like that. And you can kind of tell with the cape and the suit. I mean, just pretty simplistic black and with the gold uh, there, too, as well. But the hands, man, I'm telling you what, that's what's really cool. And uh, if you want to replace the face, it's pretty simple. You just pop off the head uh, and it should you gotta kind of pop that part off so the chainsaw part and then you pull that part off and then you put on the new head there and put on the new katana put the katana back on and and then we'll pop this back on like so and now I've got the open mouth and there but that look at that that's so cool you got the little handle for the for the katana right there coming out now it's like it almost looks machete like you know but you know I could forgive that uh, but all sorts of really cool details they even went into his belt having all that stuff right there too as well uh, but from an articulation you got the head movement uh, you have the two uh, ab crunches the top ab and then the bottom ab there too as well that you can crunch and you got the top half that can rotate and the bottom half that can rotate so you can get his 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 body into some really gnarly poses and then the arms you got uh outward like so uh you have the rotation and the cool thing too as well is you got the rotation here at the shoulder but you also have this rotation here so you can really get some really dynamic poses and then you have this rotation here and then you also have this rotation here and then you have the arm that can come in like so and then you have a little bit of fist yep you had the fist rotation as well so you can get some really really cool poses out of that arm and make that look really really cool uh, and then the legs you do get the Jean-Claude right there and you do have the rotation here as well that you can go all the way around and the feet you do have rotation too and then the knee you do have more than a 90 degree bend on that too as well and then the foot you do have that piece that goes like so and that foot has a lot of good rotation so you can really get this guy in some really cool poses uh, and really reenact some of the scenes there's this one scene where he's like squatted down and like just getting ready to like charge at Denji and I'm going to see if I can get him posed like that and if I can I'll have it in the uh, after the video where you know you can see all the different poses that I have them in but uh, overall uh, just a really detailed really cool looking bot not bot <laughs> I'm so used to Transformers a really cool looking dude now if I want to change out the hands all you gotta do is just pop the hands off and, and uh, just pull that off pull this off right here and then you just put on what hand you want to put on uh, like so so we'll throw this one on here this one's kind of cool and so we'll put this part in first uh, come on little parts big hands I got hot dog fingers my friends big old hot dog hands there we go and then we'll throw this part this, this other half on and you squeeze those together. Yeah. I'm not a good squeezer. That's what she said. Uh, anyway. Come on. Anywho, that's that's the general gist of it. You can get these hands on. I got such shaky hands. I need to get checked out for that, right? Ah. But yeah. There we go. There we go. Got the hand on. Now we got this gnarly looking hand uh, there, which looks kind of cool. Uh, I think I'll probably keep him with his fist hands, though. Uh, that would be the way I would want to kind of keep him posed. Uh, but let's do this. Let's get him compared to some other figures that I have there. And then we'll give you some of my final thoughts on Samurai Man. 
There we go. We got the outstanding lineup. This We Are the World kind of let's sing a song together and bring all genres together here. So Samurai Man and Chainsaw Man both are figure arts figures. It's an anime hero, Sukuna. We also have good old 3.75 inch Ahsoka Tano. We got a Bandai Ultimates uh, Tanjiro from Demon Slayer. This is a McFarlane 5 inch Tanjiro. Black Series Mando. Of course, seven inch McFarlane Batman. And then my one of my favorite uh, new bots is Bludgeon uh, from Transformers. And so you can kind of see how he kind of scales relatively with, with the figures. I think he scales all right with the uh, with the anime heroes and of course his own kind and probably the six inch uh, black series. But yeah, seven inch will be a little bit too big there. And of course, uh, if this really was scale, Bludgeon would be like huge on that. So. Let's get back together and talk about some of my final thoughts around Samurai Man. My final thoughts on Samurai Sword, AKA Katana. Mr. Katana. Katana. Can I say that different ways? Katana. Katana. Cool Tana. There we go. Machete. Machete Man. Uh, I dig it. I love these figures. If I had an unlimited budget, I'd have all of them. There's one more. There's a uh, power, which I need to get, which is very, very uh, another cool one, which I will have that in my collection. You better believe it. Uh, but I also need to collect the Jujutsu Kaisen ones. And then, of course, Demon Slayer has some coming out, which, my gosh, there's just not enough money in the world to go around to get these so i don't know how people do it uh i know how they do it they got lots of followers and viewers and they get the stuff for free sometimes uh but this is so so cool i am telling you uh, i love the posability i love the different things you can do with it and you're gonna see some of those poses after this video but the overall feel I mean, from a pro standpoint, this is just really, really nice. I think they did a really great job with the detail, with the different things you can do uh, with this. The cons, there's not really any. I think this this figure is just about perfect for me. Uh, so it, on a scale of good, bad, awesome, this thing is friggin' awesome. I mean, it is Katana Man awesome. Uh, he can slice, dice, chop, suey, whatever he wants to do. Uh, he is a one man, you know, if I need him, like Edward Scissorhands, eat your heart out, you know? So you got Katana Man, you got Chainsaw Man, and Edward Scissorhands, and there we go. Who would win in a fight uh, on those ones there? Uh, but uh, very, very cool figure. He's gonna go along, he's gonna go really good with my, uh, with my Denji, my Chainsaw Man guy, and different poses and different flight stands and stuff like that, so I can't wait to do that. Uh, and one of the things I just discovered is the neck also moves too as well. So not only does the head move, but the neck moves as well. So that's very, very cool. Uh, so yeah, very awesome figure. I'm excited about it. I can't wait to get some more of these figures. So tune in next time when we do talk about something good, bad, or awesome, whatever it may be. But thank you all for watching and listening to this person talk about toys. In the meantime, y'all remember to stay young, have fun, and be awesome. We'll talk to you later.